fundamental change to the district. That's what the superintendent of the Marymount City Schools says is at stake this November. Voters in Marymount will decide whether or not to approve an additional operating levy for the district. As WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan explains, it's the first since 2018. The superintendent here in Marymount tells me just like the rest of the country, his district is feeling the pressures of inflation. And that is part of the reason why there is a new operating levy on this year's ballot. You want to be able to, you know, provide the same level of service and opportunity. You need additional dollars to do that. It's why the Board of Education is asking voters for an additional 5.95 mil operating levy under issue 27. It would cost taxpayers an additional $208 per $100,000 in home value, but generate the district $3.1 million a year. This dollar amount will allow us to keep this, the, the level of programs and services that we currently have uh, in our school district. Marymount stretched its 2018 levy for two additional years, citing grants, staff attrition, and savings at the new high school. What's at stake if this levy doesn't pass? Well, there's a tremendous amount at stake uh, for us. On the chopping block, 15% of staff members, meaning larger class sizes, a reduction of counseling and nursing services, plus art, music, STEM, and other electives. It basically would change the way we do business here. That's a scary proposition for second grader Eleanor. I like the painting and the drawing. And also her dad, Brett Dixon. I think we need to cut some of them. So it's important for us personally as a family. I have three kids in the district, um, three kids in elementary school. Voters against the levy cite the area's already high taxes. Jurisdictions within the Marymount District have some of the highest rates in Hamilton County. And while property taxes increased, the voted tax dollars that the school district collects remains the same. Meanwhile, parents hoping that their neighbors won't turn their backs on the school district. I'm optimistic that the village will support another levy. In Marymount, Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News.